are so many cars here called uh, NMA which stands for National Tax Agency so they either have uh, an office here or the workers live here because this looks like houses where people actually live but uh, who knows this is a very weird uh, uh, neighborhood it's one of the oldest in uh, Vilnius Ajmerinas, but where we are uh, currently, it seems like the newest part of it. Uh, so there's a lot of um, just housing buildings. Yeah, I see, yeah, but it's, it's different, like compared to new. The old one. So yeah, we're feeling good on our on our tribe, but like I said, at the moment there's no signs showing anything yet. So. So, we hopefully yeah. don't get lost or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, as we have learned, if there's no sign at the beginning, that means that there won't be any signs oh, during the walk. So we are ready to explore. So we have been walking along the road and not far from the National Tax Agency. There is another official building and this one is uh, China's embassy in Lithuania. Hello guys, right behind us we've got a water mill. Uh, so on our track, um, I, I get really excited about uh, water mills, uh, but we've got one behind us. Uh, obviously you can't see uh, it looking like a water mill now, uh, because back in 16th century, um, uh, well basically noble people was living here. And they, uh, and they do, and the, you know, they changed it into apartments in the 20th century, and uh, they made it look like this. Uh, into uh, places now, uh, I think it's like what is it, apartments now or like um, a hotel? I'm not exactly sure. Apartments. Looks like apartments. Yeah, it looks like apartments here. So uh, yeah, I can't believe like noble people used to live here, and it actually used to be a windmill. Like you would have thought about it. Um, so yeah, and it's quite nice. So yeah, of course, stuff to see on our track. So stay tuned for more. So as uh, soon as you enter the National Park of Karolinishkes, which is on our way, you will see a sculpture, which is a giant cross. Uh, but when you look closer, you will see that it's made uh, from tiny bird houses. So it was uh, put here in 2001 uh, and it was restored in 2012. And uh, basically it's supposed to be both a sculpture, a cross uh, and bird houses. I'm not sure if there's any birds living there, uh, but we can check it out from up close. National Park and uh, looking forward to see the uh, the former railway place. Yeah, well hopefully we'll see something about it. I mean, oh well, I really doubt it, but <laughs> at least we could find this the spot where there used to be an old railway line there, then that would be very interesting to see. Yeah. But we just have to stick to the track and uh, uh, just keep following it and see where it, where it leads us. The good news is that there's another swings and the bad news is that uh, the railway line that we were talking about earlier, uh, it hasn't uh, been marked uh, as a former railway line. But one thing for sure, it went along the river somewhere here and it was uh, built around World War I and it was used for military purposes. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, they also had a bridge that uh, crossed the river and connected two shores. Uh, and uh, but the bridge was uh, demolished uh, uh, in 1950s uh, due to uh, bad condition after the flood. 
so uh, we will continue our road now uh, and look for some more nature and maybe uh, interesting things we will discover. Uh, so let's see what's ahead. So uh, behind me, uh, further down there, uh, you can see a bit slate, uh, which we uh, uh, had a chance to visit on one of the tracks. Uh, so that's where the tracks touch. Um, and this track uh, also brings us there as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, they kind of connect uh, on this uh, slate, uh, natural slate, where you can see different uh, layers of uh, uh, soil. guys so we are yeah we're just literally had to follow along the river so when you follow the path just keep going straight 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 until basically till the end uh, and then when you get almost near the end we're going to turn this turn in here on the right and this is the direction so we were a bit confused where we need to go as long as you know that you pass like a beat a little beat spring down the bottom uh, you know that you're heading in the right direction How do you feel where you're going? Oh, I feel good. Uh, it looks like a decent path. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sort of, look at the path. But as long as it's not raining, because I won't want any trees to be falling on me right now. Look at all the trees are spelling here. This is what we call Chalky Mountain. We're almost there. We're almost to the top. So what do you say to the people following this track? And uh, have a lot of energy. Yeah. Like imagine it was raining. Oh, there'd be no way you could climb up this. How did you did you grab onto a tree up here? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to do this part. How did you do this? Hold on to a tree. So far. Oh. What did you put? You can climb. So you could climb up hills but not downhill. Yeah. Right? Oh, Dana. Yeah, oh I can give you a hand. Well I didn't expect this to be on a track. <laughs> hey? Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> You're almost up the top? What do you see? More trees. Oh, but there's a bike path. Oh, I'm sweating now. Oh! <laughs> Which is the direction? We go straight on to cut this woods through and reach the city part of the track. 
So let's go on. So somewhere up there between the trees is the Vilnius Tower. The TV tower. I'm not sure if you see it beyond those trees, but it looks very close from here. Look right up there. I thought they're good on the camera actually because of the light effect. But basically we're walking straight through the woods still. Not sure if we get a good view of that tower from up here. Oh, I think you can see it a little bit. So yeah, we're walking straight. How long how long have we been out now for then? How long is this track then? Maybe an hour? I think so, yeah. So I think this track total might take two hours. Uh but oh it's a lot of climbing. You gotta be fit for this one. But there might be some easier paths you could take. Yeah, if you turn earlier. Uh, it uh, might be easier, but uh, on the other hand, they all go up, up uh, the hill. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so there's climbing in any case. Tower right ahead of us. We just walked past it. Now we have to carry on going straight. Which is the way? Okay. To the civilization. We're finally out of the woods and look what we see there, the Vilnius TV tower. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, this track, it kind of connects with the first track that we did. So you can uh, check it in the link, uh, uh, what we saw there. So this TV tower is uh, famous uh, for the independence uh, in uh, uh, 1989, 90s and 91. Uh, where people were fighting for the independence of Lithuania and uh, they were in injured here. Uh, so yeah, so... Uh, Behind uh, me, you can see the area uh, called Karolinishkes, uh, and uh, we will go past it uh, to finish our track. So let's check it out. Compared to the other ones, um, I don't know. I mean, we did see like a, the the water mill um, and like a sculpture, but still, I don't find it that good. Uh, I'll maybe give it like a five. But we do pass the the TV tower, so uh, okay, like a six. I give it a six, six and a half maybe. What about you? Oh well, I would give it way less. I would give it a five because uh, when you think about it, there's not so much history and there's not so much views that would differ from other tracks uh, but I guess if you live somewhere not far from here it makes sense to take this walk because it's pretty nice it has nature and it has some sculptures yeah. but like it's really weird how they would have this as a track at all to be honest I mean <laughs> it's, it's not that clear it's not laid out at all uh, so yeah you gotta really look carefully at the map to figure out where you're going um, and like where you have to turn is very confusing uh, but we got there in the end uh, so yeah, so this is really good. Um, we got through it anyway. That's the main thing. <laughs> and the weather is still nice. So our next track is going to be track number six. 
Uh, so subscribe and uh, hit the like button to see more. And hopefully we'll see more uh, better windmills and uh, more history and more things to tell. We've got to do a lot more research when we look at this track. So uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of challenge in making these videos. Uh, so yeah, so stay, stay tuned for more adventures. Yeah.